Hello everyone, welcome to the English devotional from Soldiers of the Cross. Let's begin in prayer. Heavenly Father, I come before your holy presence asking forgiveness of my sins so my prayer can enter your throne. Thank you, Lord, for your blessings that are new every day. Thank you for your companionship, for your love and your mercy. Thank you, Father God, for your great compassion on each and every one of us. Thank you for, because you provide all of our needs according to your riches and glory. Lord, there is nothing that we lack that you do not provide. I thank you and I praise you for your faithfulness. Lord, I ask that you will be with this devotional today. Allow us to understand what it is that you have for us in store. Allow us, Lord, to find a way to apply it to our lives so that we can grow spiritually. We grow emotionally. We grow maturity-wise. We grow in height, Lord, but help us to grow spiritually. Help us to be sensitive to the calling of your Holy Spirit. Help us to be bold in what we do for you and the work that you have us to do. Help us to use the talents and the gifts that you give us. Help us, Father God, to know when to use those gifts, when to remain silent, when to take a break and rest, and when to work. Father, be our wisdom, be our joy, be our peace. I thank you and I praise you for your blessings. In Jesus' name, amen. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. My kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Today's devotional is titled, Use Your Keys. It was written by Y, C, and translated by Nelson Berries. Our biblical base comes from Matthew chapter 25, verses 34 through 40. So says the word of God. Then the king will say to those on his right hand, Come, you blessed of my Father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. For I was hungry, and you gave me food. I was thirsty, and you gave me drink. I was a stranger, and you took me in. I was naked, and you clothed me. I was sick, and you visited me. I was in prison, and you came to me. Then the righteous will answer him, saying, Lord, when did we see you hungry, and feed you, or thirsty, and give you drink? When did we see you as a stranger, and take you in, or naked, and clothe you? Or when did we see you sick or in prison and come to you? And the king will answer and say to them, Assuredly, I say to you, Inasmuch as you did it to one of the least of these, my brethren, you did it to me. Amen. May we be blessed by the reading of the scripture. When I least expected it, disappointment came, and a shadow covered my soul. In another time and place, it was the disease, how much sadness overwhelmed me. I still have the memory of a desolate night, alive, what a news, my heart was broken. One day, talking about these things with someone very d dear to me, he told me, these are the keys that the Almighty has given you so that you can open the way for others. So today, when I see a sick, sad, desolate, or lonely person, I can say, I have that key. The Lord gave it to me for this moment. Don't worry. Everything will pass. Everything will be fine with God's help. And now this key is yours too. How do you know how rich and refreshing water is if we have never been thirsty? How do we appreciate health if we do not know what illness is? How do we feel God's support if we have never been helpless? How do we enjoy the sweetness of forgiveness if no one has offended us? The keys that the Lord has placed in your hands, share them. Amen. My brothers and sisters, what a beautiful devotional encouraging us to use the life experience that we have to help other people, to share with them how God has seen us through, to share with them how God has forgiven us, how God has helped us, restored us, healed us. How would we know and value these things if we did not go through them personally? My brothers and sisters, whatever you're going through, it's not pointless. 
It's not useless. God is going to use that situation in your life to further his kingdom. It might not feel that way right now. It might feel hopeless right now, but God is going to use it. Hold firm, hold fast to him. He is going to use it because he is giving you the keys in your hands to share the gospel, to share God's mercy, to spread his joy all around you. Amen. May the Lord receive the honor and the glory. Like the woman at the well, I was seeking for things I could not satisfy. And then I heard my Savior speaking, drop from my well that never shall run dry. Fill my cup, Lord, I lift it up, Lord. Come and quench the thirsting of my soul. Bread of heaven, breathe into my wants no more. Fill my cup, fill it up and make me whole. There are millions in this world who are craving the pleasure. Amen. What a beautiful song. And now we invite you to check out the YouTube channel, SCC English Ministry, for our daily Bible reading. And now we ask that the blessed love of God, the grace and peace of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, the companion and communion of the Holy Spirit, our great counselor, be with all of his children now and forever. Amen.